Hashtag turtle feels. The turtle feels. Hi, I'm Andre, and I'm a black nerd with another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles episode recap. Turtle power. So I am recapping the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles season three finale, as well as the episode prior to it, Dinosaur Scene in Sewers, as part of the Triceraton Saga. Oh yeah, there's Triceratons up in this. Raphael was kind of scouting around while the other turtles were watching the Krognard the Barbarian series finale. The final episode of the show, Krognard goes up to some beast and he's doing his usual, I am Krognard, I will defeat this beast. And then the beast eats him and the show's over. Krognard dies. Sure that's not foreshadowing anything. While the turtles are crying over Krognard, Raphael is trying to keep himself safe from Zog, the Triceraton that he finds in the sewers. Zog is trying to call his Triceraton army. He keeps asking for Captain Mo are, and he keeps talking about trying to find this beacon so that he can destroy the crane. Raphael poses himself as a captain and tells Zog that they are working together to fight the crane. The turtles are like, uh, crane's gone, dude. We defeated them long ago. But Zog uses his nose like Toucan Sam and finds a secret crane base. The crane are still on Earth and they have secret bases. And I love the crane. They're like, the turtles. We want to defeat the turtles. Just try, 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 yeah. Zog and the turtles go ham on the crane and they think they've defeated them, but Zog is still like, no, I gotta find that beacon. The turtles are looking at Raph and like, Raph, is this a good idea? We're teaming up with this Triceraton. Are we sure this is cool? Nah, he's fighting the crane. We're fighting the crane. This all works out. Plus, I got a pet dinosaur. I'm like Mario. This is Yoshi. Zog, the last Triceraton. He's my friend and a whole lot of fun. The crane open a portal and the turtles follow suit to find the other secret base of the crane just hidden inside the statue. Statue of Liberty! That's just wrong. The Krang are against freedom. The turtles go inside the Statue of Liberty, which is filled with Krang, as well as Ghostbuster 2 references. I love it etched inside the Statue of Liberty, Venkman was here, which is an obvious reference to when the Ghostbusters moved the Statue of Liberty in Ghostbusters 2. I also love the homage to the NES Advantage, which was a Nintendo reference, as well as what the Ghostbusters used. Zog defeats the Krang, Raph's like, all right, good job, Zog, and Zog looks at Raph and just goes, blast. Zog finds his beacon and he uses it to go up to the top of the Statue of Liberty and tells the turtles, yeah, I'm using this beacon to call the other Triceratons so they can come to Earth and destroy it. Turtles fight Zog. Zog is like hanging on the edge of the Statue of Liberty. Raphael's like, look, give me your hand, man. I'll bring you up. Long live the Triceraton army. He pulls a Lion King and lands on the ground. Gone. The turtles destroy the beacon and think everything is cool, except they don't realize that the beacon already went out with its signal before they destroyed it to Captain Mozar, who now knows where Earth is and sends his Triceraton army to destroy it. Go. And by the way, the voice of Zog there was Lance Henriksen. And Captain Mozar, the head of the Triceraton army, he is voiced by Michael Dorn who was Worf from Star Trek The Next Generation. He was also the voice of I Am Weasel. I Am Weasel! Annihilation Earth. I had the pleasure of watching this online early, and I also got to watch it live at Retropalooza in Dallas, Texas. We had a secret pizza party and watched the episode, and everyone was like, man, Andre's super nice to go buy a bunch of pizzas for us while we watch this episode of Ninja Turtles. Um, that was comfort food, y'all, because this episode is tragic. Spoilers. So the turtles get this weird message from a Krang named Bishop, but we find out that Bishop is not really a Krang, he's an Utram. Bishop is also the creator of the Norman suit the humans that have the cranes inside the body. I love that this character was named Bishop. Obviously, there was a character in the 2003 television series, Agent Bishop. And if you're a fan of Aliens, you know that there was a Bishop in that. And Lance Henriksen was the voice of Zog. Now we're just getting down a deep rabbit hole of references. Bishop warns the turtles that the Triceratons coming to Earth is a bad thing. The Krang and the Triceratons have been in war for years. They're like rival gangs. I wonder if they have their own symbols and colors. So any place where there is a Krang, rather than the Triceratons going there and just destroying destroying the crane, they just suck up the entire planet the crane is on. A technodrome still buried underneath the water. Crane Prime and Crane Subprime are working together to rise the technodrome and begin their attack on Earth once again. Some of the turtles sneak inside of the technodrome. They have to fight off the crane, as well as those freaking robots. You remember those robots? They were in the first episodes in the 80s series, but they were also in that video game and they would go around that little wheel and they would spin around and shoot that little electric bolt out and if it grabs you, you <laughs> And I hate those things in the video games. They were in this episode. B-Team comes in from the sky, shoots a bomb at the Technodrome, it's enough to put a hole in it so that they can go inside and start a big battle with the Krang. The Turtles and the Mutants and April and Casey, they're all fighting the Krang, but then all that gets stopped when the Triceratons finally show up. They turn on their spaceship. It's like basically the thing from Independence Day opens up from the bottom, shoots down a beam to hit the Technodrome. Unfortunately, Randy Quaid is nowhere to be found to stop it. The Turtles get in spaceships and get out of there as it shoots the Technodrome and sends 
it as well as Crane Prime and Subprime back down into the water. They fly to Washington Square and they have the device with them that if they use it will suck the earth into a dimensional vortex. The turtles try to stop them in the spaceships but they have a force field around themselves so they can't be hit and of course that device has a timer on it before it goes off. So they call everybody. You got the turtles, you got April, you got Casey, you got Splitter, and you got the mighty Mutanimals. They even have two new recruits, Muckman shows up, and Mondo Gecko! <laughs> They don't really do much. Triceratons get the upper hand. They start throwing out these little machines that put their enemies into bubbles. They got all the Mutanimals trapped. They even got Casey Jones trapped. So the turtles have to retreat. Mozart personally grabs Michelangelo and says, you're coming with us to the spaceship. Mm, that's not good. Splinter's like, all right, turtles, you go get Michelangelo. We're going to stop the Triceratons. And April's like, um, excuse me. It's just two of us. How exactly is that going to work exactly? I was like, what? You about to say what I think you about to say? Spinner's like, the only way we're going to stop the Triceratons, we got to get somebody even more evil than them. The Shredder! This episode just got epic. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. So Splinter and April go to Shredder's lair to convince Shredder that they need to help them stop the Triceratons from destroying Earth. All right, you know what? I was in my home just chilling, watching Dancing with the Stars, eating a pound cake, and you gonna come in my house uninvited? You better have a good reason. By the way, what's the cry? Okay, there's some dinosaurs here. They're taking over. We need to stop them. We can do this another day, okay? The common enemy, man. And then tomorrow, you and I, can, we can get away. Shredder's like, all right, all right, it's cool. So yes, Shredder, Tiger Claw, Bebop, Rock City, Fish Face, Razar, they work with Splinter and April and the Turtles to defeat the Triceratons. Michelangelo is trapped by the Triceratons, and Mozart are like, yeah, you know what, Michelangelo, we're gonna have to stick something in your brain, we're gonna have to probe your brain to see what information you have. So they stick this device inside of Mikey's brain, which is supposed to hurt him. There's no better way to say this. Michelangelo trips out on it. It's like an LSD for him. Mikey on that molly right now. If you wanna know what it's like to be on drugs, this scene is what it is like. I was expecting the 80s Michelangelo to show up from cartoon All-Star to the rescue to tell the 2000 Michelangelo, stop doing drugs, dude. Turtles aren't on Earth right now. They're up in space. They take a spaceship to go into space to save Michelangelo. Triceratops Chapman is like, no bad blood between us. It's just we don't really like Earth. You got the crane. You also don't take care of your Earth. It's all polluted. It's all nasty. I can't even see the super blood moon because there's too much smog in the world. It's your fault. I'm destroying the planet. That's what we're gonna do. Triceraton has spoken. Leonardo gets all hardcore on him too. He looks at him like, I'm gonna just say this right now. One time. Better leave my plan alone. Opens up part of the ship. Triceraton just starts spitting out of the ship. Boop, 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 boop. And they go back to Earth to be in the middle of the fight that is going on. You see Shredder and Splinter together fighting alongside each other against Triceratons. You see Tiger Claw helping out April and Casey. Splinter is running. Shredder is right behind him. Splinter's like, we're getting close, Saki. We're gonna turn off that timer and the Earth will be saved. Everything's going well. The episode is going according to plan. And then, and then, wow, my mouth just dropped. On his way to try to turn off the device to save the planet, Shredder stabs Splinter with his claws, pulls him out. You actually see, I'm not even kidding, you actually see the claws in front of Splinter to know it has gone through his body. Splinter goes down, Splinter's eye slowly closes, Splinter is dead. Didn't stop the timer, timer goes off, machine goes off, Planet starts getting sucked up. Bebop and Rocksteady hold each other. Hold me, comrade. They get sucked away. Leatherhead and Monkey Brands get sucked away. And they do this pose that looks exactly like the uh, Michelangelo painting pose of the Sistine Chapel. Tiger Claw's like, Shredder, man, what you doing? I don't care if the planet is destroyed. Just know one thing before we all did. Ah, one. Shredder, 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 Shredder. Let me tweet this before I die. And then a spaceship comes down and a little robot guy comes out and goes, Hello, turtle friends! You, get on my ship! And so the turtles and April and Casey jump onto the ship. It flies away. And as it flies away, the turtles look outside the window to see the entire planet Earth sucked up into a vortex. That's right, everyone. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on Nickelodeon, the number one network for kids, just destroy the entire planet Earth. Couldn't show Tang Shin really dying. Gotta be careful on how the turtles use weapons. But apparently killing Splinter and destroying the world 
and showing close-up of April O'Neil's butt is all allowed on this series. I do not understand standards and practices. By the way, the robot figure that helped them out is Professor Honeycutt himself, the Fugitoid, voiced by David Tennant from Doctor Who. I wonder how many Doctor Who fans, how many Whovians, are gonna start watching Ninja Turtles just because David Tennant is the voice of the Fugitoid. I'm sure Nickelodeon wants to know that as well. And the turtles fly off into space. Casey Jones is super excited for some reason, even though his entire planet has been destroyed, and that's it. Oh my gosh, man. I mean, I would not have ever suspected Expected the Ninja Turtles would go this route with a season finale. Every season finale just gets crazier and crazier, and I love it. Thank you guys for an exciting, exciting time. You hit me with those turtle fields with Splinter, though. This hurts. I kind of wonder if we get back to Planet, but we still don't get back Splinter. Call your friend and tell them you love them. If you haven't talked to your family in a while, talk to them, because you just never know when a dinosaur army may come to our planet and suck it up completely because we have alien brains floating around. It could happen. X-Files is returning. It must be for some reason. Please let me know what you thought of this episode and what do you think is going to happen with Ninja Turtles in season four. Put your predictions in the comments. I love you like a play cousin. I'm Addy 5000. Chain chomp yomp.